Before I start this video, I just want to say, for all of this week, uh, you were going to see me wearing this because I'm just now shooting a bunch of videos because I'm going to be, well when you're watching this I'm going to be away this week, so this, I, I've not just worn this for like six days straight, this is what I'm wearing to shoot all my videos in one go. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> Hey guys, Reese Survives here, and today I am going to be looking at rumours for WWDC 2017, Reese. God, what is up with me? 2018. Now, it is very close, it starts on June 4th, so depending on when you're uploading this, it's still close, okay, so just deal with it. So I figured I would look at some rumours, so let's. Uh, jump on to whatever site we can find. So, what comes up first? CNET. CNET comes up first. Okay, let's let's look at CNET. Okay, so so possible new iPad Pros, MacBooks, and more. Don't expect to see the new high-end iPhones or the and all the new Mac Pro because the Mac Pro has now been pushed back to 2019 supposedly. I feel like the rumors keep pushing it back further and further, but what can you do? Uh, the sequels to the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are expecting in September, as usual. That's probably the phone I'm going to be getting, because in November I get an upgrade, so, when, in my birthday, so, yeah. Won't be able to use my fabulous Riveto case anymore, but we can get over it. MacBooks and iMacs. Apple refresh, refreshed nearly its entire line of laptop and desktop computers at last year's WWDC. Now, a year later, moving the line to the newest 8th generation Intel processors would be an easy easy upgrade whether that would yeah we don't care because there's been rumors that they're going to switch to apple owned chips by 2019 so ipad pros apple uh, brought a keystone feature to the ipad pro line compatible with the pencil stylus was my stylus to the new entry-level ipad that uh, debuted is that how debuted debuted whatever uh, in march Ooh, that could be interesting so they're saying basically it could have a whole new redesign, so it'll have like the notch like the iPhone 10 and Face ID. That could be pretty cool. iPhone SE 2. Now, the iPhone SE 2 has been rumoured since 2016 when it was announced. I remember I, I made this Instagram post here when it was, um, when the iPhone SE was an East, uh, an East released when I was watching the Apple event, so uh, you can go watch that. Also, I am going to be streaming WWDC here, like in the actual stream and then me, but it'll be like from this angle straight forwards because anyway. So the iPhone SE 2, as we said, the big iPhone upgrades are expected uh, in the September. But the present rumours that the iPhone SE, the entry level iPhone that uh, debuted in March 2016, is an upgrade for some sort. Whether that's a full screen iPhone 10 design, which seems improbable, or just specs upgrade in the same body. So that's what seems to be the most common thing that people are saying. They're just going to upgrade the specs to like the things what the iPhone 10 have or even the iPhone 8 and keep it in the same body. Maybe add like Face ID or something, or, like an OLED display if they can. But the iPhone SE was never intended for the hardcore iPhone users. It's just for like the everyday people who just like who like the smaller phone, not this size. Let me get an example of it. But I have this, an iPod 5th generation. This is how big they are. It's not turned on, but like this, so. Not too big, but not too small. Apple Air Power. This has already been announced. If you don't know what that is, it's basically this, so you'll be able to charge your iPhone 10, your Apple Watch, and your AirPods on one dock. iOS 12. This could be interesting. So, after grappling with a president streak of flaws and glitching that have been something of the reputation of iOS 11, including the controversial feature that intentionally slows phones down, Apple is said to be focusing on our quality over innovation with the forthcoming version. So basically, there's not going to be much change. It's just going to be very much uh, all like iOS 11 and the way it all runs. What did I open that? Nothing. Amazon, never mind. Uh, and the way it all runs, they're just going to make it a hell of a lot smoother because I know I had so many bugs with iOS 11. It's started draining my battery, but I'm not too worried about it because I'm getting an upgrade in... Four months! I think. No, six months. Sorry, I'm dumb. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I'm sorry that this was a short rumours video. Some of my other rumours videos are usually a bit longer, but it just, there's not that much because they never usually announce very much at WWDC or any of the exciting stuff. It's mainly for software, upgrades, and like 
news. They usually have someone singing, though. Or was that, like, the September event? Because I know they had Sia one year, because that was good. But, yeah, so if you're excited for WWDC like me, then please don't forget to smash that like button, press subscribe, and just click the little bell. So, you don't know when I upload. So, yeah, see you later. Bye.